Okay, Sounds of Decay 2 is Finster Frost. We have a lot of Germans this week for some reason. Uh, Finster Frost, Jen Zeitz. Just when you thought you were familiar with all the metal from Baden-Württemberg, along comes Finster Force, a band that I have completely slept on until now, which is a pity because th these six heavy metal Valkyries know how to assemble some pagan metal. Vocals soar, transitions between pieces are flawless, the disc is cut into five lengthy movements complete with prog structured Roman numerals. And I, I don't fully understand that. I'll show you the picture. I don't fully understand the I'm a grave digger and I'm okay photo of the band covered in dirt. But the epicness of this album allows considerable room for forgiveness. Veteran knob twiddler Christopher Brandes dials up a fantastic mix with gorgeous bass tunes and near symphonic keyboard segments that are not derailed by the introductions of decidedly non-metal instrumentation, like accordions. The acoustic guitar work in Reflexionen rivals some of the best opus stuff, deft and melodic, and the bass lines that pop to the front of the mix at the end are just another example of how rich this production is. The track then continues pushing the envelope with pagan flutes fluttering in the mix. The sudden switch to a clean solo over tribal drums halfway through Dualitate. Sounds masterful and unexpected. The bold addition of horns closing it out are a surprisingly powerful choice. Delivering all the lyrics in German is an interesting and uncompromising choice. Overall, very impressive. Recommended for fans of epic metal like Doomsword, Primordial, or Thierfing. Let's play a song. This is Reflexionen. This is the Snaggletooth Extreme Metal Podcast. <laughs> 